Hi, I'm Reed Loden. I'm the director of security for HackerOne. We basically use what's known as hacker-powered security to find security vulnerabilities in these organizations' products and services, report it to the, the company via the platform, and for valid findings, the researchers get paid money for this. We have a couple of different kind of products that we offer. So bug bounties are definitely the more proactive model. I mean, it's just monetary rewards for uh, finding a valid security issue. You know, there's also just vulnerability disclosure programs, which are basically non-monetary reward programs. They just say like, okay, if you find an issue, report it this way. You're not going to get anything for it, but maybe you know some uh, reputation points. Um, but at least we'll hit the issue, get the issue and get it fixed. We have a variety of different hackers, folks from early ages and in, in their teens that have found issues all the way to you know generations from there. It's pretty amazing that the 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 breadth and depth that our community offers. And again, that's what you get when you have a quarter of a million people that are you know, participating in hacker-powered security and earning you know, 38, uh, over $38 million. Through reports uh, to our platform, we have fixed 83,000 vulnerabilities. So the data speaks for itself. It, it all comes down to number of people. You're inviting this quarter of a million hackers, basically, to, to look at your, your products and services. And it's just the whole thing of like, many eyes will find the bugs, basically. We have large governments on the platform. We have the United States government and, and several others as well. Uh, you know, we have large chip manufacturers. We have uh, a variety of Silicon Valley tech companies. Many of the, the Fortune you know, 50, Fortune 100, Fortune 1000 companies. Again, we have organizations all over the world. And so they, a lot of times they have their own restrictions about where their data can be. Um, and so we're able to, like, okay, you know, you only need your data in the United States. You only need your, your data in Europe. Allowing them to do that, allowing us to spin up um, new instances, spin up uh, new systems uh, very quickly uh, is, is an awesome win for the cloud. Um, AWS helps us out a lot by, you know, we, we use tools. We have EC2 uh, as, as far as our instances go. We use ALBs for managing the incoming connections, RDS and Elasticache for our databases. Uh, Kinesis for logs. Um, these are critical parts that have become, you know, uh, very uh, instrumental in what becomes our platform and ensuring that we can actually serve our customers. So, because uh, I can trust AWS to be managing the infrastructure layer, that I can focus on, you know, our actual what we have, our servers and everything else, and so I don't have to worry about firewalls and such because I can just use NACLs and security groups to just do that correctly. Um, you know, I can use tools like. Guard duty and inspector to actually be monitoring all of our systems for any kind of issues and being proactive about that. Using Terraform, using uh, AWS allows us to uh, scale, but scale safely and securely.